So once we start typing things into the R prompt, um, then we're going to be start we're going to start coding and doing calculations. So the things that we type into the R prompt are called expressions. Uh, so for example, the symbol which looks like a left hand arrow uh, and is actually the less than symbol followed by a hyphen. Um, this is what's called the assignment operator. The assignment operator um, is what assigns a value to a symbol. So for example, in this first expression here, uh, the symbol that I'm creating is called x, and the value that I'm assigning it is, called, is 1. And, this, so, and I use the assignment operator to create that. So x um, is 1 is, a, is an R expression. Uh, and the next expression, I'm going to print that value. So print is a function, and I'm passing it the symbol x. So when I print out x, I get its value, which in this case is 1. Um, so another thing to think about is x is also considered a, is an R object that is a numeric object that has one element. So it's really a numeric vector where the first element is the number one. Um, in the third expression here, you'll notice I'm just typing x at the prompt and, and, and when you hit enter, what happens is it prints out the value of x. Um, so this is called, um, this is another way to print out an object without explicitly calling the print function. Um, so in, the, in this expression over here, I'm creating a new symbol called message, msg, uh, and I'm assigning it a value of the string hello. All right, so now this is a character vector, um, and the first element of this character vector is the string hello. Uh, I could add other elements to this vector if I wanted to, but they would all have to be character. Um, so the grammar of the language um, determines whether an expression is syntactically correct or not, or whether it's complete. So for example, if I just type x, followed by the assignment operator and I don't type anything else, that's not a, that's not a complete expression. Uh, and so when I hit enter, nothing will happen because it's waiting for the expression to be completed. Um, the other thing I've got here is this hash symbol here. So this hash symbol here it, it indicates that everything to the right of that is a comment. Um, and so the, 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 the R engine will ignore anything that happens to the right of that symbol. So you can put things like comments or notes to yourself in the code, um, and R will just ignore those comments. So once you've typed in a, a syntactically valid and complete expression at the prompt, uh, when you hit enter, what happens is that the expression is evaluated by the R engine. Um, and the result of that evaluated expression is then returned. Um, and so, for so, so sometimes when you evaluate an expression, nothing happens. Uh, because there's nothing to really show. And so, for example, in the first expression here, when I say x is assigned to be 5, so I'm creating an object called x, it's a numeric vector, and the first element is going to be 5. Now, when I hit enter, nothing happens, and because there's really nothing to show. Um, and so, uh, but now when I hit x and I hit enter, uh, it prints out the value 5, so it prints out the value of x. So when I hit x, when, when I type in x and I hit enter, that, and it prints out 5, that's called auto printing. And so when you just type an object's name and hit enter, R will by de default auto print the value of that object. Um, this is the same as calling the print function on that object, uh, which will just print out the, the value of that object. So you can explicitly print an object or you can auto print an object. Um, so this, is, this sounds a little complicated, but it's really just the natural thing to do. And it's what most people would expect. Um, you'll notice that when I print out the object x, there's a little one in brackets here. Uh, and you might be wondering what that is. So all that indicates is that it's it telling you um, what element of the vector is being shown. Uh, and this will make more sense when we have uh, longer vectors to look at. Um, but all this is shame, saying is that the number 5 that you're seeing there um, is the first element of the vector. So for printing, uh, you'll see that here I'm creating an x, uh, an object called x, and it's the sequence 1 to 20. So the colon operator here that I've used um, is what's used to create a, a sequence. So when I say 1 colon 20, that creates a sequence of 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 20. So now when I auto print x in this case, you'll see I've got a lo much longer vector here. Uh, in this case, this is an integer vector. Uh, and you'll see that the first line of the printout uh, is, has a 1 next to it, because that's the first element. And then the the second line has a 16 in brackets because that's the first element of that line is the 16th element of this vector. So it's all kind of straightforward, uh, but just that, that's how the printout works.